Tony D and Little Joan just off camera, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Despicable Me 4. Yeah, let's do this. Smash a like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers books 1 through 14. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. What did I tell you about comedy movies? The one thing they need to do is be funny. And the trailer here is uh, making some good efforts to do parodies and uh, be funny, at least amusing. Uh, it's got parodies of the X-Men. It has parodies of Terminator 2. Um, just uh, overall wackiness. Wholesome uh, family stuff. It, it doesn't make much sense because at this point I have no understanding of what the current plot line is. I know Gru got married and has kids. I don't know how he's a supervillain, but apparently he still kind of is. I, I, I don't really get it. I don't, I've never watched a single movie, but uh, here he is being a good dad. And uh, they have a cute bit here where... Um, Gru is encouraging one daughter to lie, and the other daughter already does that. And he he says, "See how much, uh, see how she lies." It's pretty funny. Uh, July third. I mean, this is a perfect movie to take your kid. Uh, I probably wouldn't see it, although I like cartoons. I I wouldn't mind seeing it. You know, they play ACDC music in the background of this. Crazy stuff is constantly happening. Um, the minions are constantly getting crushed and smacked around and transformed. and um, You know. And then this is the villain. Even he's having a problem gassing up. See, this bit here, this is a bit that people who would watch this movie can relate to because he's going to get gas for his wacky super powered car or whatever it is and he's trying to use his credit card and it's not working this is something normal people do so yeah this is a bit normal people can relate to a lot of times when the Marvel movies try to do comedy bits, they're bits that no one really gets outside a tiny group of people who are ideologically driven. You don't have to be ideologically driven to understand when you're at the gas station and your damn credit card won't read at the pump. Like everybody kind of gets that, at least in America, if you have a car. Um, even a kid would probably get this one because they've probably been with their parents. I live in New Jersey. We don't pump our own gas, you Philistines. But, uh, you know, I've been outside of state, states, you know, where it's, ugh, you got to pump your own gas. It's gross. Um, so everybody can kind of relate to it. So it's a funny bit. This is a parody of... Uh, Terminator 2, which is a bit old, but I think it's pretty famous scene, so I could see them getting away with it. And then this is all sort of office hijinks. So what's the plot of this thing? I I'm not even sure. First act, um, I guess the latest villain to return comes back against Gru. He's even more evil than Gru. And he's, uh, he's sort of doxed him. And now he's exposed. I guess Gru was a secret agent. Maybe he was secretly a good guy. I, I don't know. I don't follow this franchise. Now he's coming after him. At the same time, they've upgraded the minions to give him superpowers. So they could do a bunch of jokes about that. Uh, the bad guy comes. These superpowered minions are also there to do crazy things. Here, one of the minions' laser beam shoots all the way through the earth, out the other side, hits a satellite, cuts it in half. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool sequence <laughs> because it's just, you know, the whole minion bit 
It's just upping the ante every time. Anyhow, third act, Guru wins, his family's safe. I mean, what more do you want? The plot almost doesn't matter. What matters is the frantic energy and the comedy, which this seems to have a lot of. So I would think if you have kids and you wanted to take them to see something that you're not going to be bored with and they'll probably like, I would 100% take them to see this. 100%. So, and the nice thing about it too, it's the fourth Gru movie and they sort of downplay Gru in, in his own trailer, which is kind of a smart move at this late stage of the Gru movies because we're probably sick of seeing him, right? We're seeing the other characters and the other characters hold their own weight. Unlike a lot of, a lot of other movies where they try to build a franchise and the other characters just, they're just there. And you're supposed to like them, but you don't. You kind of can't help but, I mean, I'm a little sick of the minions, but the super-powered thing could be fun. Could be fun. It, again, at least they're up in the ante. So you have something to look at, something to go, okay, what are they going to do this time? As opposed to, again, I always come back to the Marvel movies, even the Star Wars movies. They just add a bunch of characters and you just go, and? <laughs> Okay, that's a new droid. What's he do different than all the other droids? I mean, you know, it's a new superhero or a new character. Uh, what? Why is he different? You know, Ghostbusters, I think, has this problem. They just threw in a bunch of characters. Uh, you know, none of them look great. Uh, they didn't look particularly bad, although I didn't see the movie. But, you know, none of them had half the character as all the characters the designs and characters in this even the minions have their own personalities and do stuff like they're doing things and things are happening in this trailer as opposed to a lot of other trailers i see you know some stuff happens you're supposed to laugh and you just kind of go i guess <laughs> this one it's like ah oh, here's 50 bits any of these make you laugh and you're just you at least appreciate the effort so um Let's read the uh, write-up. Despicable Me 4, it's going to be mega. Uh, trailer out now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, whew, there's a big write-up. In the first Despicable Me movie, in seven years, grew the world's favorite supervillain turned anti-villain league agent. Oh, okay, so he's a good guy now. Returns for an exciting, bold new era of Minions mayhem in Illumination's Despicable Me 4. Following the 2022 summer block budge, Buster phenomenon of Illumination's Minions Rise of Gru, which earned almost a million do billion dollars worldwide, the biggest global animated franchise in history, now begins a new chapter as Gru, Steve Carell, Lucy, Kristen Wiig, and their girls Margot, Miranda Costco, Edith, Dana Geyer, and Agnes, Madison Poland, become a new member, welcome a new member to Gru's family, Gru Jr., who is intent on tormenting his dad. Gru faces a new nemesis in Max, Maxime LeMay, Will Farrell, and his femme fatale girlfriend, Valentina, and the family's forced to go on the run. Film features fresh new characters voiced by Joey King, uh, Bullet Train, uh, Stephen Colbert, and Chloe Feynman. Pierre Coffin returns as the iconic voice of the Minions, and Oscar nominee Steve Coogan returns as Elias Ramsbottom. Okay. So I guess Gru was secretly a good guy the whole time, and he turns against the bad guys, and now he's been exposed. And now that's a problem. Packed with nonstop action, filled with Illumination signature subversive humor, Despicable Me 4 is directed by co-creator of the Minions, uh, Chris Renaud, and is produced by Illumination's visionary founder, CEO Chris Melendry and and by Brett Hoffman. The film is co-directed by Patrick Delage and screenplay by Emmy Women creator of White Lotus, Mike White, and the veteran writer of every Despicable Me film, Kevin Dario. So they've got a good um, uh, continuity here, at least with the creative team, it seems. Uh, definitely with the cast. 
I mean, mostly it's about Steve Carell, but it uh, it works. It works. You can't argue with success. So I think this could be the big summer movie. Uh, at least, you know, at this level with the kids. And again, I think the adults can enjoy this. I think it'll be pretty watchable if you're a grown up. You know, you'll you'll have some amusing. <laughs> ah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so Despicable Me Four uh, coming out. When is this out? Do you have a date on this? July third, right? July third. Okay, that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. I will be at United Methodist in Collingswood today to tell the seniors about how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Uh, more, Many more <laughs> events coming up this week. Um, and uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next one.